So, so the session starts. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first breakout session. Uh, it's my honor to introduce OpenStack i18 team for you here. Um, before I start the session, I want to ask a simple question. Uh, uh, Whose who's, um, who's primary language is not English? Please pull up your hands. Oh, thank you. Great. Then I'm sure you'll come to the right session. <laughs> 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 so um, we are from OpenStack IATN team. Uh, the mission of IATN team is to make OpenStack uh, accessible for people, for all the people with uh, different uh, English, uh, different language background. So um, I'm uh, I'm Ying Chun Guo uh, from IBM China Development Lab. I have a nickname. You can call me Daisy, if it's easy for you. <laughs> uh, I'm the PTL of IATN team. Uh, this is uh, Carlos. He is from uh, Red Hat. He is the uh, development lead of Zanata, a tool uh, we, uh, that we are using. Uh, Kato Song is from Fujisku. Uh, he is the coordinator of Japanese uh, translation team and also the core member of uh, documentation team. So uh, we three will 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 take you to spend this uh, this 40 minutes. Uh, we will cover uh, these items. Um, we might spend uh, 30 to 35 minutes, depending on how quick we speak. Uh, then uh, we will uh, leave the remaining time for Q&A session. So uh, we all know <laughs> OpenStack is uh, how popular OpenStack it is. Uh, so it is used. Um, it is used by the people from all the world. Um, when we bring OpenStack to users, we want OpenStack could uh, is could uh, is able to speak their own th their 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 local languages. So that's the uh, that that requirement that requirement drives the setup of IATN team. Um, actually, uh, I18 team was initiated uh, in three, uh, two years ago. Uh, we started um, we started uh, OpenStack dashboard translation since uh, Ice House, at, uh, officially. So just uh, translators come in and uh, start the translations. Uh, now, um, in Liberty release, uh, in Liberty deve uh, development cycle, we finally uh, become an official project. Um, we are under the TC governance and leadership. We have our own uh, LRC channel, mailing list, and uh, we have LRC meetings. Um, I18 team is a, is a big team. We have 40 languages, 40 language teams, and 100, more than 100 translators. So below picture shows uh, the languages we supported. If your language is, um, if, if the font of your language is, is not that big, that is because the translators, uh, the number of translators is not that much, that many, as many as the uh, languages in big font. So you could join us to make, you f make, your, make your language bigger. <laughs> uh, so I will spend a few minutes on the uh, on the OpenStack uh, I18 team construction. Um, so uh, we are uh, we are a community team. We are the, the the hierarchy diagram does not show the report line. So I use dot line, not solid line. Um, so we are official team. So we under the leadership of a technical. TC, uh, techni technical commi committee. Uh, then there is a PTL for i team. Uh, the PTL, uh, I think uh, the PTL is uh, uh, every, every release cycle sh could have a, a PTL. So um, I'm, I'm the PTL of Mitaka development cycle. Um, the PTL is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations. 
uh, set up the global translation plans and resolve the dispute of, of within the team. Uh, then, the, then there are uh, coordinators of different language teams. So the, the language team coordinators are responsible for the operation of the language teams, uh, drive the language team to follow up the, with the global translation plan. Um, each language team can have their own translation plans also. Um, so th uh, then there are the translators and the reviewers. Uh, so the the PTL and the coordinator and the coordinators are the IATN core team. We work together to set up the translation plan and the translation process. Um, so we have deep, uh, deep, closely connection with the infrastructure team, who is helping us to set up the uh, uh, translation platforms. Uh, we also have deep connection with documentation team and development team. Uh, so they they all will they, their feedback will 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 help us to decide the the final translation plans. And when we uh, also there are, um, if we found bugs, we may report to them. If if there are translation bugs, they may they may go to us. So there are close connections. Mm. So let's look at what we translate. Uh, OpenStack community has a lot of English materials. Uh, so you you see the user interface. You see when you type command lines, you see the response messages. You see uh, English documentations, and uh, the release is also in uh, the wiki is also in re in English. Um, so the website is in English. So uh, among all these uh, English materials, what should we translate? Mm, after so. Uh, Finally, we decide to translate the uh, user interface as a high priority and the user documents as a high priority. Mm, we also uh, we also translate a few of uh, wikis. We we translate the we will translate the release notes into different languages after the after each release. Uh, we, we also translate a few of uh, messages. Um, they may not uh, they may not the web UI messages, but but uh, they are the user user messages when you type the command line. So, um, look at what we have done. Um, after I think uh, now uh, after um, after we r we ran the team for three two years or three years, we have uh, we have a dedicated translation website now. Um, and we have the we have the automa automatic process. Uh, so Carlos will cover cover this part in, uh, after me. Uh, so we have uh, translated OpenStack dashboard into fourteen languages. Um, so you you see that's our achievement. Uh, we have uh, we have six languages. Uh, Six localized documentation page for uh, under the official documentation website. So some documentations are translated. There are six languages available. Um, we we also uh, translated uh, some user messages in projects. They are not UI related projects, but there are some user messages. We translated ten languages of them. Uh, translated them into ten languages. Um, in total, there are one million active words translation in our website now. That's really a big number. Uh, so, um, the Mitaka design session is not started, so I can't tell you the exactly plan. But, but these items are are in our are in our plans. So uh, in Mitaka, we will continue the translation of uh, dashboard, and uh, we 
we, we are going to translate the installation guide for Liberty into uh, different languages. Mm, for the tools enhancement, uh, we will enable the translation check website to, to improve the quality. And uh, mm, we will enable the translator metric in Stacklytics. After that, you will see your contribution, <laughs> how many words you translated from the Stacklytics. So then I will hand over to Carlos. Carlos, please. Um, thank you very much, Daisy. Is this this one? Um, so, like Daisy said, uh, my name is Carlos Munoz. I am uh, the lead developer uh, for the Sonata Translation Management Platform. We are the platform of choice for OpenStack to do their translations. Um, First of all, let me give you a little bit of context uh, about the platform um, and ar around our relationship with OpenStack. Um, Sonata is a project that started uh, in 2008, I believe, way before uh, my time with the project itself. Um, it began as a uh, because of an internal need from Red Hat uh, from having uh, a translation, an open source translation platform. Um, then after that, after some development, uh, some of the communities out there starting started rec uh, recognizing Sonata and started using it. Um, two years ago, I back in the Atlanta summit, uh, that was our first contact with Daisy from the uh, from the internationalization team. They expressed their their uh, want to change translation platforms, and Sonata was one of the candidates. We started working very closely. Uh, with both the internationalization team and the infrastructure team. Um, and then in Vancouver, uh, six months ago, uh, it was decided that Sonata would be used as a default translation platform. So the work began there, and back in September, finally, we released the production instance of Sonata uh, with the help from the uh, infrastructure team uh, from OpenStack. Um, right there on the slide, you can just see some interesting uh, links if you, uh, you want to read more about Sonata, if you want to contribute, uh, if you want to submit bugs or requests. Um, there's also uh, a couple of links uh, from the infrastructure team and how they, uh, how they configure Sonata, um, what the process is like, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the process next. So let me just, first of all, I apologize for my very basic PowerPoint skills. Um, but second, this is a process that my team has been supporting uh, the infrastructure uh, team with. This is all the work of the infrastructure team. Uh, some of these guys are present here. Uh, raise your hands, don't be shy. Um, they are really the, the brains behind all this process, and we simply have been there to, uh, to support it. I'm sure that they will... Uh, scream out in pain if I say something that is not true. Um, so th the way the process works in, in really, really broad terms is it's all tied to the code. As soon as there is a, there is a commit uh, to the code, to any of the projects, uh, there is a process that recognizes whether there have been changes uh, to the source m uh, messages or not. <coughs> Excuse me. So once that happens, uh, Sonata has a command line client, right? And there are some scripts that are using that command client to push all these sources, extract the source files, and push them to Sonata, which is the second uh, kind of row there that you see there. So once, once that happens, um, all the translators come in. They see the latest changes to all these source files. They do their work. They uh, translate it very efficiently, and then uh, the arrow that you see going up there is a process that uh, every day at 6 a.m. it pretty much pulls everything that Sonata has and it checks any language that has more than 75% uh, translations. Uh, and it pulls all of that information from Sonata. Uh, I, uh, I have a, a, a diagram there with PO files, that's the translated file. And then it makes sure, makes sure that it makes a commit to the Garrett instance with all the uh, with all the changes, so basically that assures that uh, at any point in time, both the translators are seeing the latest uh, source files that they can translate, and it also assures that all the work that the translators are doing is basically being reflected uh, in in the source code. 
Now, before I hand over to, to Cato, who has a very interesting demo where you'll see the platform uh, doing, uh, doing its job, uh, I want to talk a little bit about what we are working on uh, that will not only help uh, OpenStack, but, but in general, all the Sonata users. So in the next release, which should happen uh, in, in a couple months' time, we're planning on improving the way that Sonata manages glossaries. Um, before, the system was, was pretty much upload a file with your glossary, and, and that was it. We are adding capabilities to actually edit the glossary in the platform itself, to add entries, to add definitions. Um, we're also adding uh, per project permissions. This means that specific projects will be able to determine who they let translate and who they don't, if they so choose. Um, statistics is a topic that we're, uh, it, it, it relates a lot to OpenStack. We're in constant discussion with the OpenStack uh, team to see how we can develop meaningful statistics. What are the statistics that OpenStack needs to see? Um, again, in general, this benefits all, all Sonata users. Um, and the other thing that we're planning on doing is better management of requests. What m this means is at the moment, and uh, Kato will, will talk about this, when you join Sonata to translate on OpenStack, you have to send a request via email to a uh, translation coordinator so that they add you to the team, and it's a very uh, cumbersome process. We're changing that so that it's very easy to join translation teams or uh, project maintainer teams. Now, before I hand over, um, Alex Seng and myself, we're both from the Sonata team. We're going to be in, in, in the for, for, for the length of the summit. If you have any questions, if you want to uh, contribute to the project as well, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, and, uh, and yeah, having said that, uh, Kato, uh, the floor is yours. Hi, welcome to Tokyo, Japan. Uh, Yoko so. <laughs> uh, I will show detailed procedure to using uh, translation tool. Now, uh, this is overview. Uh, You need two kind of ID. Uh, one is uh, OpenStack Foundation ID with I ICLA agreement, and one more is uh, Zanata ID. Um, I will use Wiki. <laughs> uh, this is our OpenStack wiki page, and now we are official project, so we have here horizontal team internationalization. Uh, our information is uh, all together here, and this is our uh, how to procedure Uh, yep. First, uh, OpenStack ID and license agreement is a, a common procedure of all projects. Uh, so you have uh, already agreed this agreement is OK. And next, access Zanata. OK. Uh, you can log in here. Um, oh. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> this is not my account. <laughs> uh. Continues. 
Uh, if you uh, log in first time, Zanata, uh, you you need to create an account, and after create your account, and uh, you can log in here and and access to language page and want to contribute such and uh, for example use the Japanese uh, you can uh, request to join to team here oh oh here, here, join language team. Uh, after you click here, and oh, <laughs> request is sent to uh, language coordinator, and language coordinator receives the notification and add you to the team. Uh, after additional, you can use start translation okay. uh, after uh, registration you can hear uh, projects and using horizon and summer uh, you can start the translation uh, like this oh, <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> She's a global coordinator, so too many menus. <laughs> uh, uh, usually, I don't know <laughs> this menu. Uh, yeah. hmm. You, uh, some translation resources are shown in window um, and click here. Oh, this is a translation window and uh, uh, left side shows source storing in English and you can translate this message uh, this way. Uh, uh, you need to just uh, uh, input your language message and you can save translation. Uh, this is uh, finished. Uh, this message are uh, saved on the server and uh, imported batch job as Carlos said. Uh, and And hmm? oh. Zanat have a translation memory feature. Uh, this is a, a similar string. Uh, this is a uh, complete matching, and this use similar string. And you can you click copy uh, this string uh, appeared here and need some modification this uh, <coughs> error. the string is long and uh, use translation memory is very efficiently translate message uh, especially documentation has very similar strings and long st strings Go back to presentation. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Here is my part. Uh, uh, finally, uh, lessons in Japanese team. Uh, I want to share. Oh. 
this is a language specific, but uh, maybe oh, near language is useful. Uh, uh, our team uh, first to keep translation quality, uh, share some rules with translators uh, like this. Uh, uh, verbal expression or digital side uh, and second translation glossary uh, not only open stack terminology but uh, general words for translation uh, uh, one word in several ways in Japan so we decided to one by one matching glossary and <coughs> uh, like this, uh, in Japan, uh, some kind of express the word filter, uh, like this uh, uh, filter and filter. Or, uh, both are correct in Japanese, but may, uh, we decided to one way uh, in grocery. And two main point is, uh, as Daisy said, uh, we use translation check, fight, check site in Japan. Uh, this is uh, very useful to us. Uh, translation itself is uh, uh, easy to using Zanata, uh, but uh, Outputted string, translated strings are uh, sometimes uh, not fit window in Horizon. Uh, something broke uh, and not displayed. Uh, so we use the translation check site uh, correctly, dis uh, correctly displayed or not, uh, we can check. Uh, but now we are using global dashboard check site for Mitaka. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese team is the most active translation team in OpenStack community. They have, con they have translated a lot of documents and uh, messages, so many thanks to Kato san uh, um, so there are there are three remaining sessions about I18. Uh, if you have interest, uh, welcome to join. Um, now we are for the Q and A. We are we are open for the Q and A. Any questions? How do you do segmentation for the translation memory? So um, if you've got a block of text in a paragraph, how do you segment that? So I'll take this one. Um, right now, the platform, the way it does the translation memory is uh, string by string. So there is no segmentation of larger uh, paragraphs, perhaps. Um, so the way it works is uh, we have a, a, an algorithm that uh, pretty much calculates the, the similarity of two strings, the Levenstein algorithm. Um, and uh, that algorithm basically gives you the percentage that you saw uh, on screen. Uh, then uh, what you saw with the differences, I don't know if you saw the green highlights and the red highlights, we try to show you the differences between the, the strings uh, that that process has has its uh, its its issues, uh, but um, but yeah. To answer your question, we don't uh, segment uh, the the strings per se. Now, when dealing with uh, pod files, which is the format uh, mostly, if not completely, dealt with on OpenStack, um, it's it's basically you can do your own segmentation by restructuring the 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 file itself. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, but Sonata won't break it up into smaller pieces at the moment. So, um, of course, I'm from IBM, and this is one of my colleagues. I could ask her privately, but I figured I'd ask uh, publicly. So, <laughs> couple of questions. So, first is, um, how many languages that you guys now support? Uh, in Horizon, we support uh, 40, 40, 14 languages. 14, okay, this mm -hmm. is excellent. The reason I ask this is because part of IBM, we've also contributed internationalization support for uh, Cloud Foundry. And what we're seeing is very different, not a big uptick. Um, we submitted, we did a code support uh, here, and then we also submitted some translations. And I think now we have about four or five, and they've become stalled. So, and I'm sure it's not because of Cloud Foundry, because there's a huge uptake on Cloud Foundry. So my question to you is, what advice would you give us on keeping, you know, the IT and support uh, going even? Uh, so when you were doing your own translation in OpenStack, was it similar? Was it slow adoption or did it take off immediately? Or did you do something specific to make it become more interesting uh, to the community? Mm. I think the most interesting thing is that we have uh, powerful infrastructure. <laughs> so um, the, the OpenStack translation platform now we build can support any languages, any projects. So if translators have interest to any language, any projects, welcome them, wel welcome them to join. So we, we, s we set the project and the platform ready so they could start translation. Mm, I mean, uh, my point is that make your platform ready. Mm -hmm. Then you just, you, you, you can broadcast and wait there. <laughs> right. oh. So you made it easy for translators to submit. In our case, we we're using GitHub. So yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem right there. <laughs> All right, thank you. My question is mostly for Cato, I think. I, I'm curious about your use of the translation check site. Um, I, I'm Doug Fish, I work on Horizon. Oh, okay. And I've seen very few um, defects come in where you've indicated to us that uh, the translation did not fit in the space we provided. Uh, is that not your uh, approach? To, uh, what, what do you do when you find that the translation doesn't fit in the space that's provided? How do you address that? Oh, so, sorry, one more, <laughs> please. Um, uh, so in your talk, you said that when you have the um, translation check site, sometimes you find that the strings don't fit on the screen. No. What, no. Do, you, what I, do you do? I talked to the uh, Horizon team. Uh, and they share the situation and uh, request to fix the window size or uh, something. So somebody, somebody's yep. already fixed that on your behalf. Yeah. There, there. I haven't seen the bugs open, but you're, I think you're telling me that bugs do get open to Horizon, and it does get fixed. Yeah, super. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Uh, Motoki-san in Japanese team is also uh, Horizon Core, so he's very, very coordinated. Understood. Yeah, yeah understood. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? No? Okay. So, um, so uh, if, you, if you have any, uh, any questions or if you want to join us, so contact us through IRC, email, or anything else. Thank you. Thank you for your attendees. <laughs> uh, thank you for the session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.